Starting out on a degoogled phone can be pretty difficult, especially if you're new to them. So in today's video, I will be explaining some useful apps to help you get started, and I will be including links in the description of this video to download them. So, let's get started. If you're still new to the concept of degoogled phones, make sure to check out my last video explaining the concept and purpose of a degoogled phone. The first on our list is called F-Droid. This is a software repository for Android serving similar function to the Google Play Store. The main repository hosted by the project contains only free and open source apps, although I would still be careful of the apps you download here. I would suggest doing research on all the apps before you download or grant permissions to any of the apps. Number two, MicroG. MicroG is a free and open source service that serves as a replacement for Google Play services on the Android operating system. Unlike Google Play services, MicroG does not track user activity on the device, and the users can selectively enable and disable specific API features. It's basically a copy of Google that tricks apps into thinking it's the real Google and it doesn't track. The Aurora Store is an app that offers basically all of the same features as Google Play and allows you to download any APK offer on Google Play without a Google Play account. Although I would highly suggest you look into the apps you download before you download anything because some apps have hidden trackers that will end up selling your information, which isn't the point of a degoogled phone. NewPipe is a free open source media player app for Android devices that is best known as an unofficial YouTube client. It does not have any ads and you can directly download anything, whether that be music or a video you want to watch later, all for free. Warden Scanner is an application manager for scanning apps that you have installed and detecting those that track you in order to be able to block their permissions. I would suggest you download this app and give your phone a scan and every once a week just to make sure you are not being tracked. Although if you do get MicroG, it will pop up in the Warden Scanner as something that is unwanted because it thinks it's Google, but as we talked about earlier, it's just a copy and not the real thing. If you did find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you would leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.